Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun and in this video I'm going to share with you my review on the Openel Carbon Steel Folding Knife. Now as this channel is all about carving, this video will be primarily focused on using this knife for whittling and wood carving. Uh, now this knife right here is one of my favorite knives I own. This is the Openel Carbon Steel number no. 7. This is a high quality knife for an extremely affordable price. Now Openel uses a steel called XC90 carbon steel. It has a rock wall hardness of 57 to 59, which is at the lower end of where you'd want your uh, whittling knives to be. But it is whittling sharp right out of the box. It comes with a really nice thin blade on it, and it has pretty good edge retention for, uh, for what it is. One of the best parts this one was $15 shipped to my door. I think I got it on eBay for 15 bucks. That's it. Great price. You're gonna have a hard time beating this knife for the price. Like I said, there's several things I liked about it. It has great quality steel for what it is. Uh, it, it provides a pretty dang good edge retention on it. Uh, just keep in mind, I want to make sure I'm clear on it. You want to get the one that says carbon on it. If it doesn't say carbon, it's their general purpose uh, steel and it's a bit softer. It won't hold up to the, the abuse that whittling and wood carving will put, uh, put it through. You want to get the carbon one as it'll have a much, much higher edge retention, or much longer edge retention. Comes right out of the box, super sharp and ready to use. You don't even need to hone it. Now it comes uh, to you with a really nice edge grind on it. Um, it's almost a flat grind from back to front on both sides with just like a minor secondary bevel on on the inside it's a pretty nice cutting angle it's really really small angle on there which allows you to just glide right through the wood like i can just slice off pieces of wood no problem now one other great thing about it is it comes with a locking blade on the number sixes and larger um, it's a twist lock on it so you can open and close it until you do the twist on it and then it's not going anywhere. Another great part too if you're worried about like kids getting a hold of it or it might come and hold uh, open in your pocket. It has a blade lock to keep it shut so it's not going to open up on you at all accidentally. But even then it's you're, you're not going to be able to flip this open with one hand. It's a two-handed open knife um, which makes it pretty dang safe for most most people using it. Uh, if you are in a country where you can't have locking blades, the collar is removable. Just pry it off with a um, like pliers or something like that. I've seen people doing that. And because of the blade lock, there is no blade wobble to it whatsoever. It feels like a fixed bladed knife, which is great. And like I was saying, it has a super, super thin blade. Um, as you can see, it's just gliding right through this basswood. If you want to see a comparison to another knife, let's see, I got the flex cut whittling jack here. Let's get their main blade out. Yeah, you can see there's, it's just a hair thinner um, all the way around, and on the tip, it's much, much thinner than the flex cut version. Oh, which, by the way, the Flex Cut Will and Jack, great knife. This is my personal favorite one of all the ones I use, primarily because it has two different knives in there, different lengths, and it has pretty good edge retention as well. But the Openel is about, I think it's about a third of the price of that Flex Cut. Another thing I really like about it, it comes with a nice, comfortable handle. I mean, it's round and it feels organic in the hands. There's no weird chunky uh, spots or hard edges you have to worry about that wear out your hand and give you blisters or anything like that. Now this is this is a great knife for 15 bucks and if you wanted to get the smaller knives I think like the if you get the ones that have no locking collars on them which are the number fives and smaller you can probably get them from like maybe 13 to 12 dollars each. Now before I go over what I wasn't too terribly fond about with this knife, I want to let you know I also tested out 12 different pocket knives to see how they all stood up 
uh, against each other for um, for whittling and wood carving. I have that video here on the channel and I'll link it in the description below and I'll have it linked at the end of the, the video as well if you want to check that one out. Now one of the main things that I wasn't happy about when I got the knife, um, since it is a cheaper knife at 15 bucks, uh, I don't expect it to be perfectly honed and coming like super nice uh, when I get it. Uh, this one did have a minor nick in the edge itself, which isn't so much of a problem. Uh, I was able to get it out, but if you're doing whittling you and you have a nick, you'll see like a line running up along your your uh, cut surface there. Um, it can it is cos cosmetically annoying. It's not going to be like detrimental to your your wood carving or anything like that. It's just more of a cosmetic thing and I didn't like it so I, I ground it out. It was relatively easy enough. And another thing too, um, these do have a bit longer blades to them so it's not exactly the easiest thing to do detail work with. Uh, they're still great wood carving knives but if you want like a detail knife you're gonna probably want to look elsewhere which is which is why I have that the flex cut will and jack because it has a longer knife on it for more roughing out the the wood and then I have a smaller detail knife in there as well for smaller cuts and uh, adding intricate details to it. But yeah overall I do highly recommend using this open hill carbon steel for wood carving and whittling. If you only have 15 bucks for uh, a decent whittling knife I would I'd grab this one. Um, there's some other knives out there that are pretty good uh, as well, but this one is portable, so if that's something you're looking for, yeah, go ahead and grab this knife. This is a great, great option. Uh, it, it is, I consider it to be a very high value knife. You get a lot of cutting power out of it for the price. Uh, and just as a reminder, make sure you only get the carbon steel version of it. Uh, the regular ones don't have the edge retention um, and they're they're meant more for like general purpose stuff like if you're wanting to get it, get it wet since it's a, this is a carbon steel blade it does require a little bit more maintenance on it uh, like keeping it oiled and make sure you're not leaving water uh, like fingerprint oils on it to that causes it to rust or anything like that now, like I said before, this, this channel is all about carving, and it's a fun way to help me share my wood carving, stone carvings, and all the fun little tools I get to use along the way. So feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, it lets me know that y'all are enjoying the, the videos, and it keeps me motivated to keep making more. Let's get this finished up here real quick. Yeah, I think we'll call this done right here. Alright, thanks for watching everybody and hope you have yourself a great day.